Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. We're going to get two of these oracle cards. We're going to get one of these and one of those. And if it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. If it don't, then we'll have to wait to the end. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for the sign of Leo. There's that one. And we have another one. I decided to change decks because the other one wasn't flat and it was bothering me. So, Leo, April 16th through the 22nd. Give and take. It's about equality here. Something about equality. It's about getting what you deserve. Oh, somebody may not be working hard enough. A lot of baggage here. A lot of baggage. Something is heavy. Weighing very, very heavily. What is so heavy, Leo? Is... Are you giving too much and maybe not receiving as much as you thought you were going to receive? Hmm. Something is feels like it's being lost or it's not turning out the way you had hoped. A lot of power struggles, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A lot of tension this week. What is this? What's causing this tension? Could be some legal issues causing tension. Could have to do with money. There could be some money problems that are weighing you down. You know, it feels as though there's some sort of... There's definitely some heaviness, okay? Because these are both heavy weights, okay? Something very heavy going on in your life this week, which is causing a lot of tension and insecurity and instability. Somebody's not happy. Hmm. Ooh. So some some truth is coming out here. Okay, because these are both truth. It might hurt. This is a three of swords. This is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have Libra here. You know, there's some sort of raw truth that is coming out that may be too heavy to hear or deal with or accept yeah you know there's some sort of commitment here there's a commitment but there's heartache in this commitment. There's heartache. What the hell is the problem here? Why is there heartache in this commitment? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I hate to say anything, but I'm, I'm curious as to if somebody is giving their love to someone else. Because it's like their love is being given away. 
and it hurts. There's some kind of suffering here. Maybe somebody is offering you love. That could be the case. Because this could be an offer of love. But I don't think it is. Because this right here is somebody who is very much. Very greedy. Self-centered. Doesn't care about love. Somebody's been stabbed right in the heart. I mean, look at how sharp that sword is. These are sharp swords. I just happened to notice that. And there's a lot of swords. Oh, let's get some more cards. Could have been a third party situation. I don't know for sure. But it's about getting what you deserve, Leo. What the? What do you deserve? There, there could be an X in the picture here. This signifies an X of any sign. When you get the Queen of Swords in reverse, there's another partner from the past that is probably messing with your future. Because, you know, I feel like somebody is really going through a difficult time right now. There's a lot of power struggles. Now we get another five. I was looking for that other five. Okay, there's a lot of power struggles. There's a lot of tension here. And whoever you're dealing with could be dealing with an ex, could be even a mother, could, another woman. And this queen of swords in reverse could be any sign. This signifies an ex that is causing problems. Any sign. Or another woman that is causing problems. And I feel like, wow, you know exactly what this is. You do. I feel like you're on top of your game. You know what's going on, but you don't, you, you have this fear of starting over. You have this fear of being taken advantage of. And maybe somebody is taking advantage of you because this is being taken advantage of. Is somebody taking advantage of you, Leo? And it's causing you a lot of hurt? But you're committed, right? Somebody is committed. But you can't, it's out of your control. When the Wheel of Fortune comes up in reverse, somebody's trying to control destiny, and you can't control destiny. If it is meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. You can't control what isn't meant to be. It's out of your control. And I know that that sucks, doesn't it? It really does. I feel like somebody's going backwards right now as we speak. Maybe somebody wants to go back to their ex. Is that you or the person you're dealing with? Maybe they want to go back to this other person. Somebody's like going, there could have been a third party situation. A third party situation doesn't have to mean like it's two people, have, it's, two, it's all sex, okay? It can mean between a mother and a partner, you know, friends, whatever. There's three people involved. That's what a third party situation is. However it resonates with you. I feel like there is a, there's like a triangle here and somebody is being pulled in a bunch of different directions and somebody is really hurting over this pull. Are you just taking advantage of me or what? That's what I feel. There's a lot of disappointment here. You know, there could be a new offer of love. This could be immature love though. But it could be a, a genuine offer of love. Maybe it's you offering love genuinely. But well, something needs to be blocked. Maybe this person needs to be blocked. And like I said, this Queen of Swords in reverse is any sign. It is another woman that is messing around in your future. And it needs to be blocked. 
completely. Done. Halted. No more communication. Somebody has to be willing to shed their old ways, shed their past fully so that they can bring success to their lives. But they're going to have to take action. Is it you or the person that you're dealing with? Somebody needs to let go of the past fully and stop. caused a lot of worry, it's caused a lot of depression, and it's caused a lot of despair, and it needs to be gone. It's not doing anything for your heart. It's Whatever's happening here has been breaking your heart. There could be a reconciliation here between you and a person. If someone would allow it to happen... I believe you're going to receive some sort of message in re that you're going to receive a message that has to do with your love life and asks you to release something because this is a release and this is releasing the past, your old ways, shedding. So maybe you need to shed something so that you can have this ultimate love, whatever it is, I don't know, you do. Either way, something needs to be something needs to be blocked. I think there's another person that is hindering your future in love. And you know, you may feel like you can't do this anymore. This is unrealistic. And it is. This is unrealistic. Whatever is happening is causing a lot of dissatisfaction in your life and you need to take action. Maybe you're wanting to offer love to somebody else or your partner's offering love to somebody else. Somebody is offering love somewhere. <laughs> and it ain't making you happy, so I tend to think that you're not on the receiving end, and I'm I'm just telling you what I, I think. Or the, whatever this is, I don't know. Somebody isn't happy. Somebody is not doing the right thing. Somebody is totally only focused on themselves and their own gratification here. Somebody's lost their focus, lost their concentration, lost their confidence, lost their courage, lost, lost their will. Ego may be in the way. Somebody's thinking about leaving a situation or what way to go. I think you have two, two options, Leo, or the person that you're dealing with has two options. Somebody has two options. Either it's you or the other person, and you're trying to make a decision as to which one is going to be the most fulfilling. Whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody is trying to make a decision as to which option is going to make them the happiest. They may be looking at you as, or somebody is looking at you, like you're conceited and self-centered and all high and mighty. That's what the card means, reversed. And you may, somebody may be ta being taken advantage of with this fool card. I mean, it's connected to you. And somebody is choosing not to be enlightened, choosing not to see it, just living in sadness, living in unhappiness, living in a negative state of mind instead of taking action. Somebody is being called to find the resources within them to take action so that they can be successful. And to be successful, they have to shed their old ways and really make a conscious change. They have to take action to bring success to their lives, but somebody is lacking the ability to do that right now. They're just thinking about it. Whoever you're dealing with, somebody is giving up. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Pentacles reversed, somebody's given up. Somebody, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody has stopped putting in all the effort they used to be putting in. That's for damn sure. Somebody's ignoring the truth. Trying to postpone the outcome and the destiny. 
like I said, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, they're trying to postpone it. They know what's going to happen. The truth is here. They see the truth. But if we can just delay this for as long as possible, that would be great. I think you're dealing with somebody, whether it's you or the another person, somebody is emotionally detached here. Somebody may be holding on to resentment. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody's holding on to resentment. It's causing a lot of unhappiness, illusion, confusion. And I think it's time for somebody to make a decision. Somebody's very indecisive about what to do next. They're thinking about their options, where they want to go, what they want to do. In the meantime, there's like barely any communication whatsoever. Lack of communication here. This is about a relationship. Obviously it is, right? It's about a relationship. Are you choosing for the right reasons? Somebody's given up. Somebody is giving up. This is given up. Somebody's giving up on trying on a relationship. They're turning their back. Somebody is turning their back on a relationship. Because it seems like they've been waiting too long. Maybe somebody has decided, you know what, I just want to focus on my future. Maybe somebody has finally decided, I need to figure out what the hell it is I really want in my future. I need to figure this out. I believe there definitely could have been a third party situation here. The truth could come out and it could really, really hurt and change the view. That could be the case, won't be the case for all of you. I feel like somebody has given up on a situation or they are about to give up. Somebody, there's a huge lack of communication, silent treatment here, silent treatment, silent treatment, silent treatment. And if you do silent treatment, you can expect it to end. I believe that you have an, uh, an opportunity or the person that you're dealing with has a choice between you or another person, but could go either way. And right now they're trying to figure out which route is going to make them the happiest. Could even be an ex. You're being called to follow your intuition. Keep calm. And step outside of your comfort zone. You're going to have to remove this obstacle from your life. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. You could be dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas. This is hidden agendas. Secrets. And those secrets could be revealed to you to the point where it really, really hurts. Now, this can go vice versa. You could be the one with the secrets. I don't know. Now, I believe there was a third party situation. There really seriously could be. Or, you know, I feel like somebody's in denial here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, insecurity, discouragement, loss of faith, loss of hope, loss of inspiration. You know, I feel like you should let your friends help you. And somebody is going through a difficult time right now. One more. And you're being called to let go of the need to control the situation. It's out of your control. You can't control it. You can't control destiny. There's only one person that can. One, one entity that can control destiny. You may be angry. You may lose your focus. You may lose your concentration during this time. Don't be afraid to ask for help.
Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Think positive. Do the best you can to think positive. Ooh, good one. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your mo main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. about give and take that's the first card that came out what do you deserve don't you deserve to get what you give anyway this is what I have for the week the whole thing may not resonate with everybody because it's you know for hundreds and thousands of people somebody I believe feels like they're being taken advantage of or they feel like they're being naive, or they're trying, or they are being taken advantage of. It can go so many ways. This reading could go on for hours. The main message I hear right now is that somebody is giving up. Somebody is not putting in effort. They're not working hard enough on a relationship. There's a whole lot of not enough communication. I believe there could be another person, you know, that is hindering your progress in a relationship, okay? And it could be an ex or it could be a family member, okay? And I feel like whatever, you can't control destiny. I think that there's something that isn't meant to be and somebody's trying to make it meant to be. You will continue to suffer if you try to control what isn't meant to be. Somebody has a hidden agenda. That, that's what the card means. You can choose to see it or you can choose to deny it. It means nothing to me. It's totally up to you. So that is what I have. Whatever is happening isn't making somebody happy. And somebody needs to accept the truth. Anyway, that's what I got. Talk to you later.